church. For months we have been, and for a few more months we will be, scattered church and households of faith. But on this morning, representing the ways in which the church is always connected, we are gathered church. And so this morning, we celebrate all of the ways in which you are already living as the body of Christ in the world. The celebration of God's resurrection of Jesus from death and the grave is one of those ways in which we remember that we are always alive in Christ, no matter what may come. This morning, I want to offer a few words of thanks. I want to welcome a new member offer you another word of brief greetings. I want to say thank you to each staff member and each volunteer who has made this day a reality on this morning. Uh, even though my thank you is brief, it is deeply sincere for all of the behind the scenes work and effort it has taken to just put this gathering um, on the tracks for today. And I want to say one word of special gathering to the person who has made all of those cookies up there <laughs> and individually wrapped them. They are handmade by Lindsay Wilson in chocolate chip and as butterflies and as sunrises for Easter's dawn. And so Lindsay, thank you so much. And boys, thank you for testing every cookie. <laughs> I also want to say a word to you about a person. Let's see, where is Derek? There is Derek, right back there. Wave again, Derek. Derek Henson becomes a new member of St. John's on this day. And Derek, we welcome you and we receive your commitment to God as including us. And we want to say to you that our commitment to God includes you. And you help us be church every day in more effective ways. Derek's been on our church staff for about a year and a half now. And we are grateful to him. Any questions you have about Realm, he is the Realm answer person. So just uh, know, Derek, welcome into the membership of St. John. Now, as we gather in these moments, we are reminded that we are ministers in daily life, but we gather in these moments to worship the living God of the living Christ, who is the Lord of our faith, for he, for Christ the Lord, is risen today. Christ the Lord.
Friends, let's pray together. God of love and life, we are filled with joy that we can worship together on this Easter morning. But we know there is more to today than our joy in being together. As we worship you today, we remember the faithful women who came to the tomb early that morning out of their love for Christ. May their love and faithfulness be an example for us. We remember Mary Magdalene's encounter with the risen Christ, one filled with tenderness and joy. Help us to pay attention to the ways that we too encounter the risen Christ, and may we feel the love and joy that Mary Magdalene felt. We remember the first Easter message, I have seen the Lord, given by Mary Magdalene to the other disciples. May we also be ready to share the good news of resurrection with the world. Help us to celebrate, proclaim, and live the joy of Easter fully. Amen. taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciples, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet, they did not understand the scripture that, that he was raised from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their home. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent forward to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, 
sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. He said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he has said these things to her. This is the word of God for the people of God.
what gives us hope and meaning and fulfillment each and every day. This morning I have two types of people on my heart. Those who believe in the resurrection and those who wish they could believe. My desire in these brief moments is to encourage each of you. For those of you who believe God raised Jesus from the grave, today's celebration affirms God's faithfulness. In other words, today says God does what God promises to do. Secondly, today announces God's power over death and the grave. And third, today and this celebration reveals your ultimate future and the reality that you live in that future today. In other words, as the song says in Les Mis, tomorrow has come. But because you believe that God has raised God's Christ from death, you then follow him as disciples. You follow Jesus as his obedient learners. God's resurrection of Jesus Christ gives you light in the darkness, comforts you in your sorrow, encourages you in the midst of your confusion, and instills your life with vision and direction, purpose and fulfillment. Because of God's resurrection, Jesus Christ, you are messengers of hope in a despairing world. Beloved, congregationally and individually, you are essential workers in today's despairing world and troubled world. So I offer to you these words of encouragement, words first sent to the Center City Church in Corinth. Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of Christ, for you know your efforts in the Lord are never worthless. Now for those of you who wish you could believe, you wish you could believe that God raised Jesus from the grave, today's celebration challenges you to embrace the reality that truth with a capital T encompasses more than only that which can be tangibly verifiable. I remind you, that all but one of those first witnesses of the risen Christ, the Apostle John, who lived to be an old, old man for that time, all of the other witnesses of the resurrection were put to death because they refused to deny their experience of the risen Christ. Their message was proclaimed with such power that generation by generation, by generation, this good news of God's hope has redeemed situations, transformed lives, and empowered visions. If God had not raised Jesus from the grave, we would have never heard of Jesus' teachings. In addition to Jesus, the Romans crucified tens of thousands of persons. But we only know the name of one crucified victim. And we only know his name because of his post-tomb appearances. We know about the teachings of Jesus because of the resurrection. Otherwise, he would have been just another of hundreds or thousands of rabbis walking the roads of ancient worlds. You see, during these months, a global pandemic, although we have been driven into the shadows, we have continued to minister as representatives and reflections of the light of Christ because we are witnesses ourselves of this risen and eternal body of Christ. In today's world, we continue this message 
of hope, of life, of peace, of comfort, of transformation, reconciliation, and redemption. For we are convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, even like a deadly pandemic, will be able to ever separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. On this day, we are celebrating what gives us hope and meaning and fulfillment each and every day. Amen and amen. Living God, you are the resurrection power. Please guide all aspects of our faith that need to depart the tombs of yesterday as we walk in your light of new life. Amen. Now, beloved, together in Christ, we are involved in resurrection ministry. This, my friends, is the only ministry needed in today's world, resurrection ministry, for Christ is risen indeed. Good morning, St. John. Oh, you can do better than that. Good morning. Now, feel free to sing with me now. I'm about to take you to what we call church. Everybody sing. Take shalom to the world. <laughs> 